Hello. Thank you for watching my video. Um, this video is going to compare um, Islam and Mormonism. Uh, the one reason for making this video and comparing these two religions is some Christians, uh, some evangelical Christians, denounce Mormonism and Islam in the same sentence. They denounce them together. Um, and they shouldn't. So, <laughs> here are reasons why other Christians, I use that word other because Mormons are Christians, other Christians should not denounce Muslims and Mormons in the same sentence. Mm. Oh, the top of the list, uh, the view of sex in heaven. The Islamic view, the Quran promises these things that are not human, they are created so the pious Muslim man in heaven will get to have constant sex. That's the Islamic view. The Mormon view, we don't look at heaven like that, like the point of one way of describing the Islamic view of heaven is it will be full of pleasures, the pleasures of this earthly, worldly pleasures, of physical pleasures. Um, you know, lots of sex, um, drinking alcohol without getting a hangover. Uh, but the Mormon view of heaven is much more similar to the uh, Christian view, and that we don't look at it as a place where we're going to get you know, lots of uh, worldly pleasures. <clears throat> Do Mormons think there will be sex in heaven? Yes, but it's dramatically different than the Islamic sex because the Mormon sex is going to be with husbands and wives who are all living on this earth. So it's, uh, it's not just something created for you to have sex there. It's another uh, human being who went through this earth life and uh, lived a good enough life to get to go to the best heaven or the best part of heaven and, you know, uh, have a, live the married life there. Um... This is kind of a reiteration of the fact that Mormons are uh, Christians, but um, the uh, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints firmly believes and teaches Jesus Christ um, died and was resurrected. And that resurrection of his was important uh, for our resurrection. We believe in the divine birth of Jesus Christ. Um, so it doesn't make sense to denounce us in the same sentence as people who believe that Jesus Christ was was born of a virgin, but not divine, didn't suffer for our sins, never actually was put on a cross. <clears throat> and we believe Jesus Christ and Jehovah are the same same being. Jehovah is Jesus Christ before he was born. Jesus Christ is what we call him after uh, he was born, but it's the same, the same being. And Muslims don't believe that. And the Book of Mormon um, is very explicit and clear on that. In fact, the Book of Mormon is more clear on that point than the Bible is about the divinity of Jesus Christ, about him being um, him being Jehovah. Okay, Mormonism doesn't turn Alexander the Great into a Mormon, or any other historical figures that we know or that we have information about. Whereas Islam claims that Maha that Alexander the Great was a Mormon, which is ridiculous a ridiculous claim um, because we have archaeological evidence that. Very, <laughs> very uh, firmly uh, disproves that. 
Mormonism doesn't have any stories like, um, uh, um, in the Bible there's Gog and Magog, and the Quran, and in the Hadith there is a, uh, the, um, the Quran's idea of what Gog and Magog are. Um, is another example of a bizarre story that does not, you know, Book of Mormon and Mormonism does not have bizarre stories like the Quran and Hadith and Islam have. Um, in the Islamic story, Gog and Magog, Alexander the Great was able to pour enough steel on top of some mountains to cover two cities. And we don't see it now. We've explored the whole world. We've got satellites. If there's any truth to that story, we would see these cities now. What's more bizarre about that is these are really bad guys. They're going to... They don't believe in God. They're going to slaughter a lot of people when they get out, um, according to the Islamic eschatology. And um, slaughter the Muslims when they get out. And how are they going to get out? Say, Inshallah, or if God wills it. So Mormonism doesn't have any um, prophecies about bad guys getting miraculous things happening for them because they pay lip service to God. <laughs> and Mormonism doesn't, Mormonism doesn't have any stories like that story in the Quran where birds drop acidic pellets that ate through the... Yemeni's army that was on elephants um, that was attacking um, Mecca. What's bizarre to me about that story, oh, one bird doing that, but the most bizarre thing about that story to me is that was a pagan shrine. And uh, according to Islam, they went through great effort. God went through great efforts to save a pagan shrine. In Mormonism, we don't have any stories about God going through great efforts to save some pagan idol, idol, idolatrous um, building or monument. Well, those are some of the reasons that uh, Christians should not denounce Mormons and Muslims in the same sentence. We're too different to be grouped together the way some Christians uh, do it. Um, the Book of Mormon does not have scientific inaccuracies, whereas the Quran describes the setting place of the sun to be in the earth. Um, and the Quran says that inside of a woman's uterus, a baby grows its bones first, and then skin grows around the bones. That's not what happens. So, eh, eh. <laughs> but Mormonism doesn't have any, um, anything like that. The stories in Mormonism are, uh, God strengthening armies when they were following his commandments and being righteous. Um... Miracles comparable to the ones that we see in the Bible. <laughs> and um, when, the Mor when the Book of Mormon does talk about things that are science, um, that, uh, about the way the world works, uh, the you know, physiology and the, the physics of the, and the facts of the world, um, the Book of Mormon gets it right. The Book of Mormon pointed out that the earth went around the sun, and the sun didn't go around the earth. Um, let's see, and, yeah, um, one big difference between Mormonism and Islam is, um, the founder how much license the founder was given to do things that um, were possible.
taught to be bad for everyone else. For example, the Quran puts a limit on how many wives somebody can have. And God made uh, Muhammad an exception to that one. Um, there are some Quranic verses that uh, yeah, give, li give Muhammad a lot of license to do what he wants to. Like, uh, he wanted to marry his adopted son's daughter and was told by God uh, he should do it. <coughs> and uh, he got caught having uh, sex with his uh, slave, Mary the Copt, and God told him to not keep his uh, promise to uh, his wife to not have sex with her. <laughs> Whereas um, in Mormon, uh, in Mormonism, we don't uh, we don't see any similar or comparable stories about Joseph Smith or Brigham Young getting to do things that they were telling other people not to do. Um, Joseph Smith gets scolded by God, um, whereas Muhammad, the only scolding he got was for not having more sex with more women. Um, you know, for example, um, in Doctrine and Covenants section 3 and section 10, those sections are about 116 lost pages of the Book of Mormon, which God scolded Joseph Smith for, uh, not handling well. And, um, Um, when it comes to uh, polygamy, Joseph Smith drug his feet on instituting polygamy and uh, having a second and third, etc. wife until an angel of the Lord came to him with a sword and told him he needed to do it or God was going to have that angel with the sword use the sword. <coughs> um, yeah, there's a couple of stories that we have in Mormonism about Brigham Young that aren't in our scriptures, aren't canonized, but uh, we talk about them enough that you could say that we believe them or believe they probably happened, and they very well illustrate this point. Um, when um, the army that President Buchanan sent was getting close to Utah, um, one person recorded in their journal or told their grandchildren who recorded it in the journal and that in the morning Brigham Young got up at a meeting and gave a speech and in the afternoon Brigham Young said something like in the morning you heard the will of Brigham Young now it's time to hear the will of the Lord see Brigham Young was you know, willing to be corrected we could believe that God could <laughs> Tell his prophets, no, get back out there and say something different, because you said it wrong. But you don't get something comparable to la that in um, in um, in uh, Islam, at least that I've seen. Um, and um, one one uh, story about Brigham Young um, uh, is that he uh, was visiting somebody's house and telling some of the workers at the house that they were doing something wrong with how they were farming or taking care of the horses or something. And the uh, people in the house recorded or told their grandchildren who recorded that uh, through the bedroom door that Brigham Young was sleeping in, they uh, heard Brigham uh, telling himself, Brigham, you get on your knees and pray and, uh, and repent. So he was accused uh, willing to admit he had done something wrong and uh, willing to repent and we don't have comparable stories like that in um, in Islam alright one other one glaring difference is the founders first impression <coughs> you know um, of course I'm speaking about Muhammad and what his first impression of, was of his first interaction with Gabriel and Joseph Smith and his first impression to his interaction with God and angels. <sighs> Muhammad walked away from his first reaction thinking, feeling suicidal and thinking he saw a uh, devil. <clears throat> I've done, uh, I've done 
as much research as I can afford the time to do to double check these uh, these stories <coughs> um, about Muhammad. Um, I'm willing to read through a hadith that contradicts these if if, if there is any. Um, put them put such uh, hyperlinks in the comments section of my video. Um, you know, because I've thir did my th uh, thorough re as thorough research as I could come up with, I did find at least one person on YouTube who uh, was uh, making false accusations against Islam, and I made a video uh, defending Islam from the lies of Anne Barnhart. Uh, you can look through my channel to find that and see me defending um, Islam from false uh, false charges. <coughs> All right. So, uh, did Joseph Smith think he saw the devil or was being controlled by the devil when he had his first dramatic experience? No. He walked away from that experience knowing he had seen God the Father and Jesus Christ. <coughs> Even though sometimes he didn't use those exact words to describe it, he said the heavens were open to him, or the heavens were open and he saw Jesus or saw the Lord. <coughs> but Joseph Smith did not walk away from that first experience thinking that he had seen a devil and to finish off this list today um, the last on my list of reasons that other Christians should not denounce uh, Mormonism and Islam in the same sentence um, the way some of them do grouping it together like uh in a way that implies, if not, if it doesn't explicitly say, it implies at least to the hearer that Mormonism and Islam are very, very similar. Islam spread by violence. It's a fact, and I, I'm, I uh, fully recognize that at that time in history, um, the Byzantinian Empire and the Roman Empire and the Roman Catholic Church um, were, and I guess, the uh, hmm, Eastern Orthodox Church or the church that was in Byzantium at the time. Was that Catholic at that time? Or did, had the split already happened? Um, at that time, the predominant Christian uh, Christian church and empire was putting to death heretics and exiling heretics and so Muhammad I don't have any complaints against him having some skills as a warrior so he didn't end up uh, being the next heretic put to death but I don't see the need when you get your warrior skills to go conquering, you could just live your peaceful life where you are and send out missionaries sporadically. Uh, that never, they never tried that. Islam, uh, in my research of Islam, I've never seen any evidence that they actually sent missionaries out to try to convert people without, you know, it was send the army all, all at once and not <laughs> send missionaries and not, uh, not uh, being peaceful. Uh, whereas uh, Mormonism <coughs> has never spread by the sword, which is the same thing that could be said of early Christianity. Uh, before the, apost the great apostasy, Jesus Christ did not say uh, tell his followers to be violent. Jesus Christ, despite my one Muslim co-worker who obviously doesn't try to understand what the Bible says. And when we, he and I had a conversation, wasn't trying to understand what I was thinking the Bible was saying, or why I was coming to the conclusions that I was coming to. <laughs> Despite the, him claiming it, Jesus never did say, bring all the people to me so I can kill them. Um, and, you know, for a few hundred years after that, Christianity spread by people, preacher, you know, missionaries going out and talking. Not missionaries going out in platoons 
and the what's another name of the military unit? Brigades with cannons and swords, um, forcing people to uh, convert or uh, convert or die. And in fact, uh, Mormonism had such a non-violent, peaceful start. Uh, when our founder was martyred in Nauvoo, uh, he was martyred in Carthage when most of the Mormons were living in Nauvoo, Illinois. Um, we had a big militia. Um, if I'm remembering uh, hearing the fact correctly, our militia was bigger than any other militia in that state, bigger than the state's militia. We could have put up a good fight. <laughs> uh, maybe even done some conquering, but instead, we retreated to Utah. Always trying to be peaceful, always looking for the peaceful options. Um, when President James Buchanan sent the army to Utah, based on rumors of uh, rebellion, uh, we preparations were made in case we needed to fight. But we tried to avoid it and ended up avoiding um, avoiding um, uh, fighting against uh, the army that was sent out because Mormonism um, does not spread by violence, by uh, war and subjugation and armies. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Those are reasons uh, that Mormonism and Islam are so different that other Christians, because Mormons, I say other because Mormons are Christians, should not be denouncing Mormonism and Islam in the same sentence. Um, in, or in other words, in such a way that implies, uh, sometimes they might even say it outright, that Mormonism and Islam are two peas in a pod, are Oh, virtually the same. We're almost the same. Thank you. You have a good day.